Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. Today I am going to be doing the last color on this diamond painting, which is a dun 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 AB. Can you see that? It's an AB. AB just stands for Aurora Borealis. It means that it's treated with an iridescent coating on the top of it to make it extra sparkly. The tip to doing Aurora Borealis is you do not want to use fresh wax or fresh uh, blue tack or Whatever you're using, you want to be, you want to have used it for a little while because for whatever reason, the iridescent coating likes to grab on to the wax and never let go. <laughs> so, because it likes to do that. You've got to use something that is not fresh. These are the gems. Alright, so this is the very last color. And then I will be finished. I'm excited to be finished because then I can start my next project which is going to be the ocean wave it's been decided um i'm gonna go ahead and start that okay these gems are super precious and they can't be falling all over the floor <laughs> all right so um, as you can see, I also left this uh, space open for the goose uh, because I am going to be covering that up. And it, I'm just going to blend it into the background as best I can because I'm not super fond of the swan. Nothing against swans, just not my thing. Nothing against Dan Marie Bone, just not my thing. I mean, I fell in love with this tree, though, um, because I love cherry blossom trees, and so I immediately fell in love with it. Okay, so now for some updates. The latest update is that... The dogs are still peeing on the porch. We still had to complain. They are doing some research to see if they are even supposed to have the dogs. If they were registered under their lease agreement, etc. I don't know. Um, they said I wasn't on the lease. I'm like, uh, yeah, I am. I signed all those documents. Don't tell me I'm not on the lease. <laughs> I think on, um, I think she did it as like a fill-in and put wife instead of my name, which is whatever. But I'm like, no, I am definitely on there. Then um, we, you know, we were talking to the assistant manager and she's talking about how maybe we can relocate to a different a different apartment. I'm like, are you serious? I really don't want to move again. What the heck? Um, and it, what are the chances of us getting a downstairs apartment again? Probably very slim. And I love being downstairs because the kids can run around and jump and not be causing too much of a ruckus and so I am just 
I'm a little frustrated because I don't want to have to, I don't want us to have to move again. I mean, we just got everything all settled in, like, we're not completely settled in, in here, but we're also not, um, you know, just moved in. We have unpacked stuff and, you know, have started to settle in a lot, but I'm just like, are you serious right now? Why would we want to move? Move them. Tell them they can't be upstairs anymore. That they have to move to a downstairs apartment or something. Because they can't take their dogs out or whatever. Because, I mean, that doesn't solve the problem. We move. Someone else moves in here. The porch is still getting peed on. How does that solve the problem? So, I don't, under, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why they would want to move us. Um, other than they're tired of hearing me complain about it, but I mean, then do something about it. Fix the problem. Um, you know, tell them they're not allowed to have their dog on the freaking porch anymore. It's not, I mean, I'm not even saying get rid of your dogs. I'm just saying don't allow them on the porch anymore. I mean, the kid knocked on our door and said it won't happen again, and it's happened like five or six times since then and he's not come down to fix the problem so I'm like whatever I don't I don't get it if you weren't supposed to have the dogs to begin with why won't you you know keep them from being a nuisance to the neighbors uh, yeah that's them barking now which I don't mind their barking so much. It's not that big of a deal to me for their barking, but it's just their pee and all their crap they kick down. So this is actually my first official diamond painting with an AB diamond. Um, as many as I've done, I have not done any with AB. Um, that came with the kit. Now, I have changed, um, when I did my calendar with all the moon ones, um, I did change, because they're rounds, I did change all of the, I did change all of the moons out to something AB, but like I said, I have not actually purchased a kit. With, that had come with Aurora Borealis. So this is pretty cool to actually have a color that it actually is meant to have. Um, I love I love the Aurora Borealis colors because I love anything rainbow and sparkly. So it has a opalescence um, coloring to it. My mom used to paint her nails in this color. Um, that was her favorite color to paint her nails. So it reminds me of my mom a little bit. I think it's beautiful. My diamonds came in from Diamond Drills USA. So, I was able to order all of the coloring, colors I need to fix my me and Mayan paintings. They also finally sent me at least two of the three maps. So, I'm happy about that. Um, and just not very happy about how long it took to do that. And the fact that they... <laughs> Asked for one at a time instead of, uh, you know, getting me all of the information at once. Uh, but they sent me the they sent me the files, and they're in JPEG form, and these files are huge. I tried to print them out, but every time I printed them, something went wrong. I used a whole cartridge of ink. Um, which I'm really angry about because it cost me $30 to buy that ink. And then 
I printed them. I, I kept printing um, copies of like one or two pages. And then I would get the one or two pages down fine. Everything would line up and everything would be fine. And then all of a sudden, like, you skip to the next page and it skipped a whole row. And I'm like, what the heck? So I, I thought I finally, because I got... Um, because as I got close to the borders of the paper, um, it would cut off something. So, um, to the left or the right. So then I finally got the left and the right fine and I thought we were, I thought it was good now. And so I printed 24 pages of it and then come to find out it skipped a row down at the bottom. And I'm like, are you serious right now? Forget it. I'm not going to print anymore because this is ridiculous. Um, you know, because I was having a hard time seeing the symbols. So, the symbols are not even what I thought they were. Um, looking at the symbols on the, on the diamond painting itself, I thought that they were like some kind of Asian characters. But they're not. When they sent me the picture of it it is actually a fancy and sign ampersand it's um it's like fancy like it has like for when it loops around it like loops like all fancy and they have a regular ampersand sign too and i'm like oh my god i couldn't even tell that that's what that was on the canvas because it was so blurry so dark and blurry I couldn't even tell so and then like they have like the symbol of a mouse like a computer mouse with the cord and I'm like oh my god <laughs> so at least I have that so I will probably have to find an electronic device to put it on because if I'm going to be recording I won't be able to have the image on my phone I won't be able to look at the image on my phone and be recording at the same time so I'm going to try to figure that out I I really don't think I will purchase from mine again because it was such like a pain in the butt uh, I just watched another unboxing on another channel from somebody who bought from them and they didn't send them inventory sheets either even though they sent me one inventory sheet and not another but I mean the the canvases were all crunched up because they put they don't put um they don't put them in they, they had them in a soft mailer um because probably depending on the size obviously but they they didn't put it around a foam cord um they put it around their diamond the diamonds so like where the diamonds are not sitting the diamond painting got all crunched up and has now has permanent creases in it i don't like when companies put the the drills in the same box as um as the canvas because it leaves a permanent mark on the diamond painting and that might be me being all snotty and you know whatever but i just know shipping wise like i've seen it a thousand times where they ship it like that and it ends up with permanent creases just like if they wrap it in a bubble boot um somebody asked me in a comment why would they wrap it in a bubble boot if they put it in a box i don't know sometimes companies do think these things and i don't know why they do them but i don't like bubble boots so i will always request i will always re ask how a company sends their stuff and I will ask them if they could please cut out the bubble boot.
Um, if they yeah. all, if they have a bubble boot, I'll ask them. Please do not put it in a bubble boot. But I can always ask. My answer could be no, but you know what? The answer is always no if you never ask. So if I don't ask, hey, can you do this um, this way? Then they're gonna say no. I mean, then they have a chance to say no instead of. Um, like me just like letting them send it however and then it comes and then I get upset because it has these permanent creases in it that you know with double sided adhesive that means river and rivers make the canvases like stick up and stuff so uh, I don't I know there's probably no such thing as a perfect canvas. Nothing can be, you know, more than likely nothing will ever be perfect. And that's fine. Um, but if you could change, you know, like how, you know, permanent, incre uh, permanent creases or, you know, stuff like that, if you could change it, why not ask? Um, so that's why I, like I said, I always ask because the answer is always no if you don't ask. So, that is my little mini update of what's been going on. Um, I've been trying to get this canvas done. because I wanted to start the ocean wave. Uh, and so, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna show a video of probably how I set up my table once I figure that out because I'm gonna have to do some, some, um, probably some specialty things to the table to be able to, um, gosh, tabs, 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 tabs on each end. Um, you know, specialty things, so to get the table all set up and ready to go. Um, and then I can show you guys how I will be working on my large canvas. I'm excited. Um, I don't know what... Would you guys comment below if you would like to see me kit up all of these diamonds? Or, um, if you want to just, um, see me get started, uh, you know, right away. And if nobody answers, then I'll just, um, decide on, on my own which way I want to do it. But, um, I would definitely like your feedback. And I'm going to actually cut this video short today just because I want to finish so I do want to I do want to test something out though um, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this wax out because I want to see I want to see if it if it pulls the I want to see if it pulls the wax out because you saw I was just, you know, dotting away and not having any issues. Uh, but you know what? I'm actually, I just realized I'm actually not using pink wax in that pen. So, uh, I'm actually using, I, my husband bought, um, a while back, bought some uh, of those glow-in-the-dark stars that go on the ceiling. And it came with some white putty so I stole a, a corner of it to test it out to see if it um, if it worked any better than the blue tack because I always have issues with with blue tack it I call it blue poop tack because it I feel like it leaves a mess like stringy mess all over my canvas and stuff so I you know I don't I don't like it very much. So anyway, I just wanted to test this out to see if it pulls my wax out, which 
it doesn't seem to be doing. I'm not sure um, why. Like, I just put this pink wax in there, so I'm not sure why it pulls out for some. Uh, maybe they're pushing too hard. And I feel like I push hard, but maybe I don't push as hard as they do. I don't know. Like, because I'm not having any any issues. Like, I thought I was going to, so I got a little worried and made sure I was using two pens with different, like, wax to be able to... Yeah, I mean, like, I don't feel like I'm having any issues with that, so... I don't know, that's really weird. And I'm just using... I just use the, the Dreamer Design Wax, and I'll be honest with you, I used quite a bit of it. I don't know if you can see it, but I've used quite a bit of it. So, um, which is probably a bad thing, <laughs> considering, um, uh, that, you know, the wax should last you yeah, forever, and it, I, I feel like it's not, so, but anyway, so, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short now. And I'm going to post it so that you guys can answer me so that I will have time to uh, video to kit up for tomorrow or not. Because I'm going to start the painting, I think, tomorrow or start my table process tomorrow.